Hello dear all, I am Santosh Wa and welcome to channel Learn Easily by Sandhya Wa. In the series of these videos, we will see solutions for its standard scholarship examination question paper 2022 mathematics section. So let's start our video and see questions from 41 to 45 of set A. See the question number 41. The coordinates of the coordinate of point P on a number line is minus 3 upon 7. The distance between point P and point Q is 2 units. Then, what will be the coordinate of point Q? Choose two correct options. Means here, you know what is the number line? This is the number line like this. If this is zero on this axis, on this there will be plus, and in this direction minus, isn't it? So if this is zero, if we consider that one unit, two unit, three unit like this, and here in the negative direction minus one, minus two like this. But point P's coordinates are given. That is minus three upon seven means point is lying on left side from the origin. And what is the coordinates? Minus three upon seven. Minus three upon seven means this one unit is divided in seven parts, isn't it? So just divide it in seven parts: one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So each unit is this this single unit is divided in seven parts because there are seven is given. And out of seven, three units. Out of seven, see here. Out of seven, three parts are there. One, two, three. So this is the point P. Point P. Whose coordinate is minus three upon seven? Minus means in the left side of this origin, and three parts out of seven of the first unit, isn't it? So this is the point P. This is the point P. Now what is said? Point Q is distance between point P and Q is two units, but it is not said in which direction. So. it may be on right side or it may be on left side so just go two units in the right side and also in left side so we will get two positions for point q in the first case just go in the right direction that is how many units two units now see here this unit is divided in seven parts similarly we have to divide this units also in seven parts from 0 to 1 Zero to one, that will be the one unit, and these are the three parts. We require one more. We require seven parts. Total, we require four parts, additional four parts to complete one unit. If we divide this also, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven in seven parts, then now see two more two units, two units in one unit. We are making seven parts. Two units mean seven, fourteen parts, isn't it? Fourteen parts. So just move fourteen parts from this point in the right direction. There are seven parts in this unit. Then seven plus eight, nine, like this. Just calculate one, two, three, three plus this seven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So this this will be the point. Q point, Q point. This is the one position of Q point. Now see what are the coordinates of this point. These are in positive direction. Now just calculate here. One, two, three plus this seven means ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen parts we are moving from this point to this point. So this is this is the coordinate of this Q point. But what is the actual value? From zero, zero to one, there are seven parts. Then eight, nine, ten, eleven. So here will be eleven upon seven, isn't it? This is one method. And other point which lies on the left side, two units. Similarly, similarly calculate these two units from this point P. One, two, three, four. Four plus seven, eleven. Eleven. Then twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Isn't it? Because we require to calculate fourteen parts. Two units means fourteen parts. And what is the coordinate of this point? This is minus two, isn't it? But how many units are there? How many units are there? From zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
7 plus 7, 14, 15, 16, 17. So here will be minus 17 upon 7. So this is also point Q. So which are the options? 11 upon 7 and minus 17 upon 7. So first option and second option. This is one method. Now in second method, we can directly calculate the coordinate. How to calculate? We know the coordinate of point P is minus 3 upon 7. Then just add 2 units here. We will get, we will get required answer. That means here minus 3 plus 14 upon 7. That will be equal to 11 upon 7. This is simple method. And other point means minus 3 upon 7 minus 2 units add plus 2 minus 2 that will be equal to minus 3 minus 14 upon 7 that will be equal to minus 17 upon 7 so we are getting the same answer but this is the basic method to clear your concept where the points are located on the number line see the question number 42 radius of circle with center o is 10 centimeter the length of cord is 16 centimeter find the distance of the cord from center of the circle here a circle is given just draw a rough sketch of the circle with radius 10 centimeter 10 centimeter radius is given 10 centimeter is given so radius is 10 centimeter and what is asked a cord of 16 centimeter length of cords of 16 centimeter let's consider this cord of 16 centimeter because radius is 10 diameter is 20 this will be the 16 centimeter and find the distance of cord from this center O so minimum distance we have to calculate so let's draw a perpendicular here let it point be A we have to calculate distance O A let it be X now it is a if we join this if we join this let it be B point then this will be the triangle right angle right angle triangle isn't it this point o this point a and this point b now we have to calculate this distance x we know ob ob is the radius isn't it so it is radius is 10 centimeter and now total cord length is 16 so it will be 8 and 8 so this distance a and b will be 8 so this is the Pythagoras with the help of Pythagoras theorem we can calculate x x equal to square root of 10 square minus 8 square that is square root of 100 minus 64 that is square root of 36 and we got x equal to 6 so 6 centimeter is our correct answer which is option 1 See the question number 43. A hall has length 30 meter and breadth 9.5 meter. For flooring this hall, the square tiles are to be used of half meter size. Then how many tiles should be required? Here we need to calculate the area of hall. Isn't it? Area of hall that will be equal to length into length into breadth. That is L into B. Length is given 30 meter. Breadth is given 9.5 meter. Do not make the calculation, just keep as it is because it becomes very easy for our further calculation. Now tile, area of tile is area of tile which is used here for flooring that half meter size means 1 upon 2 into 1 upon 2, isn't it? That will be 1 upon 4, isn't it? Now number of tiles will be just divide this area of tile to total area of hall that will be the number of tiles number of tiles that is equal to 30 into 9.5 this is the area of hall divided by area of tile is 1 upon 4 just simplify this we will get 30 into 9.5 into transfer this here it becomes 4 take the mul multiplication multiply 9.5 with the 4 then we will get 30 into 5 into 4 is 20 then point here then 4 into 936 plus 238 then further multiplication 30 into 38 that will be 0 8 into 3 4 
carry over 2 then 3 into 3 9 9 plus 2 that will be 11 isn't it so 11 40 11 40 is option number 2 so numbers 11 40 is number of tiles required to floor the required hall option 2 is our correct one see the question number 44 Ajay scored 25 percent marks less than Balvir. Then Balvir scored how much percentage of marks more than Ajay? Here, what is given? Percentage marks of Ajay which are less than Balvir. Now, for our convenience, let's consider the Balvir marks as 100. So, let's consider consider marks of Balvir. Marks of Balvir as 100. Why 100? Because it becomes easy. Then, if Balbir has 100 marks, then Ajay will have 25% less. Means Ajay marks will be 75. Isn't it? Ajay marks will be equal to 75. Because it is less than 25%. Isn't it? Now, we have to calculate how much percentage marks are more. How much percentage is us? Here we know how many marks are more, 25 marks are more. If we consider Balbir as a 100 marks, then Balbir has 25 marks more. There is one more option, 25, but it is not correct one because it is in numbers. So marks, see here, marks, so marks which are more, which are more for Balbir are equal to 25, but it is it is not percentage, it is numbers, 25 numbers are there because we consider Balbir's mass as 100. We have to calculate in percentage. Now how to calculate percentage? See here, for 75 marks, for 75 marks, isn't it? For 75 marks, there are 25 marks less, isn't it? Just see, just see the statement, for 75 marks, for 75, if Ajay has a 75 marks, then it has a 25% less than Balbir, isn't it? Then what will be the percentage, what will be the marks? What will be the marks? Let it be X if it has a 100 marks. See the statement here, Ajay has a 75 marks and it has a 25 marks less, isn't it? But what will be the percentage if it has a hundred marks? Let it be x. Just take the cross multiplication. This statement is very important to calculate the percentage marks. Just take the cross multiplication. We will get 75 into x. That will be equal to 100 into 25. So just solve this. We will get x equal to 100 into 100 into 25 divided by 75. So 25, 1, here 3, and we will get 100 upon 33. 100 upon 100 upon 3, that will be equal to x equal to 33 whole 1 upon 3, which is option number 4. Option number 4. See here, it is a percentage. This is a percentage, percentage, and 25 are in numbers. And 33, 1 upon whole, 33 whole 1 upon 3, it is in percentage. So option 4 is our correct one. See the question number 45. The sides forming right angle of a right angle triangle are 8 cm and 15 cm. Then what is the radius of circumcircle of that triangle? What is circumcircle? Circumcircle means if we have a right angle triangle like this. See here. This is the right angle triangle where sides are 8 cm and 15 cm. And this is the right angle triangle. Circumform in this circumcircle means all these vertexes will pass circle will pass with this vertex isn't it this will be the this is simple right this this is for our assumption so this will be the circumcircle of this right angle triangle this circumcircle always passes through all three vertexes of triangle and it is this this center so center of the circle it is center at the point where all the perpendicular bisectors of sides if all these three sides if we take the perpendicular bisectors of these three sides then all these three perpendicular bisectors meets 
at a single point and that is the center of this circum circle and for this right angle triangle property it always lies on this hypotenuse on this side so if we calculate this side we can get the radius of this triangle and for this right angle triangle use the pythagoras theorem we will get let it be x so we will get x equal to square root of this 8 square plus 15 square this is a simple formula then 8 square is 64 15 square is 2 to 5 here is total is total is 289 and square root of 289 is 13 and 17 17 centimeter now total diameter is 70 centimeter so radius will be half of this radius will be 17 upon 2 that is 8.5 centimeter so first option is correct this is all for this video thank you